Hey there, it's Mike coming to you from Appleton, Wisconsin as always, and I have a short video here that I'm going to demonstrate a couple ways you can add some warmth to your images in Photoshop. In Lightroom, it's pretty easy. You just have uh, the slider for temperature, but in Photoshop, it's a little bit trickier, but um, there's still a couple ways you can do this here, especially for me, like I have this shot I did for an interior designer. I'm pretty much done. I've cloned out a lot of things. I've done a lot of work, but the client wants to see the image a little bit warmer. So um, the first way you can do this would be to go to image adjustments and then go to color balance. I'll bring up this little dialog box. And what you would simply do is just take your yellow or blue slider and move it to the left maybe like let's say 10 somewhere in there nine or ten and then move the cyan and red filter to the right the same amount so here we would go plus 10. okay and then we could use the preview button check and uncheck and you can see the difference there's the original and there's what the adjustment made and you can see there's a definite difference, okay? So you could just play with those. Usually you wanna move them in the same distance, just in, in opposite directions, okay? So there's that way. The other way that I tend to like a little bit better would be to go to um, new, go under layer and then go to new adjustment layer and go to photo filter, okay? And it'll bring up this little the name of it and you can change everything down here, opacity, normal. I just always click okay. And then I'm gonna move this. Actually, I'll keep it here. There's different warming filters that you can use. There's three. Um, I tend to like, and you can try them out. I tend to like this last one here, the warming filter 81. Um, and you can play with, you know, the density here. Um, I tend to leave it alone. I think it was at 25. I'm really used to using the whole opacity. Uh, slider a lot, so that's what I do. I'll just take the opacity basically to zero, so that means the filter's not being applied. And then I'll just slowly go to the right until I find the temperature that I like. Okay, and again, I can just take this layer on and off, and I can look at it. Okay, and then just you again use opacity to adjust. Okay, 70 74 percent like that, and then I you can just simply just. Uh, merge the layers and there you go. So those are the two ways to do it. I find the second way a little bit easier but uh, the first way is certainly an option too. It gives you some flexibility there as well. So um, hopefully that'll help. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Otherwise subscribe to my channel to see other videos etc etc. You know the routine by now. Hope you have a great day. Keep taking pictures and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.